Hey, Coop here. Welcome to 90 Second Recap, where I share a quick sports history lesson based on today's cap. It's May 23rd, and I'm wearing a Chicago Cubs New Era 5950, purchased from Hat Heaven. Some days worlds collide, or at least recent episodes do. Three days ago, I wore a cap with a Cubs logo on it that was only used for a single season on their 1916 jerseys. I also mentioned that the Cubs had a stretch from 1915 through 1929 inclusive where they had no logo or lettering of any kind on their home caps. This C on the 1926 road cap was the only adornment at all during those 15 seasons. Yesterday, we talked about the famous evangelist Billy Sunday, who played for the White Stockings, the franchise now known as the Cubs, beginning in 1883. After the 1890 season, he hung up his glove to become a man of the cloth, preaching against a wide range of evils, including the drink, and hailed the passing of Prohibition as one of the highlights of his evangelical career. Which is why it's ironic that on this date in 1926, Cub slugger Hack Wilson was arrested at 803 West Sheridan Road, site of today's Gill Park and coincidentally about 100 yards from my first apartment in the city. In that day's 14-8 win over the Braves, he'd hit a tape measure home run in the fifth, then brushed back in the seventh, immediately charged the mound, and after order was restored, wore the next pitch in the ribs. So you can hardly blame a fellow for needing a little medicinal tipple. I mean, in the course of less than 12 hours, Hack went from hitting a bomb and waging fisticuffs to getting bombed and wearing handcuffs.